Welcome to my channel folks. Today I'm going to show you how to launch an EC2 instance very easily. I have logged into my Amazon dashboard and I have opened the EC2 services. Here you will find the big blue icon which says launch instance or you can go to the instances on the left hand side and then use this icon here as well. It will take you to the same page. So when you click on the launch instances, it is going to ask you to choose the type of operating system you want for your instance. So for starters, it is easy to go with Amazon Linux or Red Hat Linux. Here in this case, I'm choosing Amazon long term support Linux version. So the next thing that we need to choose is the type of instance, how much CPU we want, how much memory we want. And by default, as you can see here, the free tier eligible uh, server configurations is selected. So let us leave it as it is and move forward. So click on next where it says configure instance details. Here it's asking you how many instances you want. I'm going to leave it as one for our demo instance. And I'm going to leave the network and subnet as default. If you want to choose which availability zone you want to uh, launch your instance, either 1A or 1B, you can choose them appropriately, say 1A in this case. And do I need a public IP address to connect to this machine? Yeah, I would like to have an IP address so I can connect to this machine. So I'm going to choose this as enable. So uh, we don't have to change any of the configurations here. So let us go ahead and add storage. So the default storage is about 8 GB, including the operating system and all the binaries. So leave it as it is. Click on next, add tags. It is always a good practice to add a tag for our server. So let us make this as a web server. Then we will install the HTTP package later. I'm just naming it as prod web 001 and click on next. Now is the interesting part where the security configurations is uh, asked for. So by default, Amazon creates a security group called as launch wizard and it opens the port 22 for you. So if you want an additional port, say port 80, because this is going to be a web server for us, I'm going to choose that and automatically port 80 is chosen. If you want HTTPS, you can choose HTTPS as well if you are going to install your certificates. So automatically port 443 is also chosen. So click on review and launch and click on launch. So if it's a new account, you will most probably will not have a key. It will ask you to create a new key uh, as I am showing here. Click on create new keypad and it is going to ask me what is the name of the key. So I'm going to call it as demo key and click on download keypad. So it is going to download a small file for me and click on launch instance. So Amazon is going to take all my configurations and put it into their hypervisor and they are going to bring up the machine. So it is going to take about a minute or so for the machine to come up online. Meanwhile, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Super Putty. That is a terminal that I use for connecting to the instances and configure it and keep it ready for my instance to get connected. So I'm going to copy this public IP address and put it into my terminal now. So I've got my super putty terminal or uh, in this case mobile XTOM terminal ready. I've put my remote IP address and I have ensured that I have chosen my demo key here. So let us choose the demo key. Click on open and I'm just going to name the server as prod server prod web server. Let us call it so that we will identify it quickly. Click on OK. And then we will have our session here. Just double click it. And if our server is ready, it should be booting any time now. So you see here, I've already connected to my server and it takes me to the prompt. So what I'm going to do is this is how simple it is to launch a server in Amazon and then uh, connect to it. If you want to go ahead and make it into a web server, what I will do is I will install a HTTP package and it should install it in any minute. And let us say I'm going to create a small sample web page so that we can access it from our browser. This is totally not necessary. If you want to go ahead and do this, you can go ahead and do that. If not, you can completely skip this step. So I'm just going to restart my uh, HTTPD service now. 
so if i do curl local host i should be able to get the default page here and it opens me the red hat page so let me just go and see what happened uh, to my index.html here okay i'm just going to move the index.html into the html folder itself So back to my browser, I'm just going to uh, copy the IP address of my server and put it into my browser window to see whether I'm able to access my web pages now. So you see here, we just now created this web page and we are able to access it now from our browser as well. So that is how simple you start an uh, EC2 instance and install some packages and configure it to access it from the public internet. Happy learning. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe if you like our videos.